is the green sea turtle. We've seen them foraging on our reefs. We've watched them come up to the sands of Heron to nest. And also we've had the great privilege of watching precious new lives, little hatchlings emerging from nests and making it out in the big blue. And now Janine Ferguson, who's been with us all week, has another five precious little individuals, one, two, three, four, five, six little individuals to release. These are the ones that stay in the nest, that get a helping hand if they're found in the hatchery. So go ahead and release them. You know, they have no mothers to watch over them. They're left to their own devices here, to the elements, to the predators that await them, and also the ever-increasing man-made threats. But they are embarking on epic migrations, many thousands of miles long. They are the gardeners of our oceans. They are so incredibly healthy, incredibly important for the health of our oceans. I hope I was allowed to help it there. But you know, these hatchlings are going to spend at least a hundred years in our oceans if all goes well. Surely it's our responsibility to safeguard their futures. Scientists cannot do this alone. This is our blue planet to fiercely protect through our actions and through making our voices heard. So we hope that we've inspired you to grab that responsibility with both hands. That's goodbye from us from the Great Barrier Reef. A big thanks to all the scientists who've helped us here. But that's not all from Blue Planet Live. It's back over to Chris.